Harry Pothead is, you know, an horror after he gets done at Hogwarts and crap because everybody knows he's got top level magical resistance know how. So, like, it keeps annoying Neville Longbottom because he has, you know, you know, magical genetic built up resistance through interacting with animals and eating gemstones and different crap, all the different ways you become magically powerful. So, the point is, um, Harry, um, hears about, because his, his lightning scar starts hurting again, you know, after he has some kids with, uh, Jenny Weasley, and he hears that, like, because his kids also have, like, you know, pain when scars are appearing on their foreheads, so then, like, he hears that there's, like, you know, a way to escape from the curse of voodoo magic that's affecting the island of England permanently there, of UK. And it's a connection of magic to the Fountain of Youth of South America. So, you know, there's a rumored chalice that's connected to the Fountain of Youth, and if you uh, get it from the... Uh, <clears throat> under where the dragon's guard and, you know, the, uh, vaults of Gringotts, the portion that's, uh, for the, you know, Ministry of Magic, there's the, uh, chalice there, so he, uh, says he's, you know, going down there for research, and he gets the chalice, and he's, it doesn't work, so then he goes to where Hermione Granger uh, grew up, where the magic spring is, that gave her her magical powers, you know. Uh, like I described, the cottage uh, in my story I'm writing. So then, um, they, he and his family drink from that, you know, spring there. And then... The strangest thing happens. The spring, um causes them to, uh, start, you know, dreaming, like, they go into a dream state, and they, uh, it's like they're in a pensive state, and, like, they're able to, like, observe, um, Merlin, and, uh, how he shaped the energy from South America into a blocking shield of energy when the voodoo spell was hitting uh, United Kingdom. So, like, the energy, because Voldemort, what he did is he tried to steal all the energy of the voodoo curse and pretend he was going to live forever with all his horcruxes from whores. And, um, <coughs> of course, that all backfired as... Uh, Somehow the energy was diverted into supposedly the boy wizard who comes, Harry Potter himself. So, um, that plot has to be fulfilled in various ways because he's connected to the larger plot of the return of Merlin, supercharged god wizard, you know, because he's himself stuck, you know, in a time loop. Because he's attached now to the uh, spells of the island in attachment to the other magical <clears throat> locations in the world. And how they had, you know, magical actual corridors, you know, that flu networks run along and etc. You know, so um, he's kind of uh, wrapped up into the bigger events and tortured like usual, like he is his whole life. And then he ends up in South America, like I was saying. So when he comes through the um, door into the uh, Order offices, nobody really knows who he is. They just think he's some guy that's a contingent of, in connection vaguely to the British Empire of wizards in South America somehow. Because he just has all the authorizations for the building, and he's, you know, beating the shit out of the uh, Death Eaters like never before. Because he is the Harry Potter from the future. 
who, uh, you know, has the scar. He just uh, escaped from that curse, but now he's kind of he's kind of stuck in South America with his family. You know, is the joke. So, um, he's already looping, and uh, Hermione Granger. She uh, the reason she can time turn her infinitely is because she lived you know her garden was watered by the magical spring at the uh split point of the uh like magical lightning you know when the island split apart 